Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at some simple um, solving equations. So we're going to start off with a nice easy example of x plus 7 equals 12. Now the important thing to remember when you're solving equations is that whatever you're doing to the left hand side of the equation you have to do to the right hand side of the equation and the reason for that is in order to keep the equation balanced you need to make sure that you're, you're doing the same to each side. So on this example what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve to find the value of x. So in order to find x if we've got x plus 7 on the left hand side and we've got 12 on the right hand side then what we're going to need to do to the left hand side is subtract 7 from each uh, su subtract 7 from that side so what I want you to do is write your operation here so the operation that we're going to do is subtract 7 from each side ES is just your abbreviation for each side so what are we going to get when we subtract 7 from the left hand side well x plus 7 subtract 7 is going to be the left hand side of our equation and then 12 subtract 7 is going to be the right hand side of our equation so what we're going to do next is simplify what we've got there and all we're going to do when we simplify if we've got plus 7 and we're subtracting 7 is that the plus 7 and the minus 7 are going to cancel and then we can also solve for the other side for 12 minus 7 so your final solution what you're looking at here is x equals 12 minus 7 gives you 5. Now the important thing to remember here is that whatever you're doing to the left hand side you always have to do to the right hand side. What I'm going to get you to do now is if you have a look at these five examples here what I want you to do is to, is to pause the video work through the five questions and once you've got the solution to the five questions I want you to replay the video in order to see the solutions. So stop the video now try questions 1 to 5 and then we'll come back for the solutions. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to try the, uh, try the five questions there. Um, first example, x plus 9 equals 15. Well, the operation that you're going to be doing to each side on that one is subtracting 9 from each side, which means that you're going to get your solution of x equals 6. That's your solution to number 1. Now number two, you might have noticed that the, the question's st uh, structured slightly differently, but again the principle's the same. All you're going to be doing on number two here, if you've got 12 plus x on the left hand side, what you basically want to do is get rid of the 12 on the left hand side. So if we run through this one, the operation for this one is going to be to subtract 12 from each side. Now if we've got 12 plus x and we subtract 12 from each side, then what we're going to be left with is 12 plus x minus 12 and on the opposite side we're going to be left with 20 minus 12 now hopefully from that you can see if you simplify what you're left with so we're going to simplify like we did before and we're going to cancel and when we simplify we're going to be able to cancel out our 12s and we're going to be left with x equals 20 minus 12 which is 8 so there's your solution for that one. Moving on to number 3, x plus 15 equals 5. Well, this time we're going to be subtracting 15 from each side. So x plus 15 minus 15 is going to leave you with x. And if you subtract 15 from 5, you're going to be left with minus 10. Okay, try, don't be confused by the fact that you're left with a negative answer. Always, always think about what you're doing to the left-hand side and what you're doing to the right-hand side, and you can't go far wrong. I know you're left with a negative here, but the, the principle is exactly the same as on the other ones. So let's look at number four. Very similar. We've got 20 plus x equals 13. So again, hopefully you can recognize that your operation is going to be to subtract 20 from each side. So if we've got 20 plus x and we minus 20, we're going to be left with x. And if we've got 13 subtract 20 you're going to be left with minus 7 again we've thrown a, a negative one in there to try to try to throw you off track but the principle is exactly the same and then the last one now the last one is a little bit different on the last one what we're expecting you to do is have a look at the equation we've got x minus 7 equals 3 and you might realize that you can't just subtract something in order to find x 
This time, the operation is going to be to add 7 to each side. Now, don't worry if that's not that, that, if that's not that clear to you at the moment, because what we'll do in the next tutorial is show you um, how we manipulate these kinds of equations. So, if we add 7 to each side, then x minus 7 plus 7 is going to leave you x. And if you add 7 to 3, it's going to give you x equals 10. Okay, so hopefully you managed to get f at least the first four of those right. Um, if so, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. If you've struggled with any of 1, 2, 3 or 4, then what I recommend you do is just go back and have another look at this video. Okay, thanks for listening.